There's none. Well, there is one near that peacock statue, but it's on the it's other, on side. The other yeah. side. There's also one on a balcony somewhere that is really hard to notice because it doesn't look like balconies. you could. But it doesn't look like you can jump on that balcony because mm. it's really fucking small. It looks like it'd just be part of the environment that you can't reach. Mm -hmm. Ooh, one thing that I did like that they added in the third game was that you could pickpocket as Bentley and Murray. Yeah, that was I really like nice. that. That's and then good. it was really different mm -hmm. from how you pickpocketed as Sly. Totally. It was really cool. Yeah. Because, I mean, with... Another thing I liked was in the hideout, there was a little icon above someone's head when they had a mission. Yeah. Which is really nice. Because then you at least knew yeah. what you were doing. And like, 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 it wasn't that much of a pain in the ass to pick someone and then go back outside and realize that there's not a mission to play as them. But it was just a nice little touch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the one. There's the detail in these mm -hmm. games. Or like in the third game, when you hit L3 to bring up all the markers again to find mm -hmm. out where you're supposed to go, it'll... A circle will appear on the screen and tells you where to go. Mm. You have to pick up people and throw them into things because it's the same mission as before. Cause, cause it kind Murray. of is. Because Murray. Except this time you're not throwing them into industrial equipment, you're throwing them into a box. I like that uh, Murray, the minute. Like you said, they lock on to. Uh, bosses. Lock on to bosses, yeah. And it kind of happens with regular fights. A little uh, bit. You like can you break the lock on by running. Oh yeah, that's true. You have to go to another thing. Yeah. Because you broke the first one. I don't think you can. Because you can't really get over that gate though. Yeah, you can. Can you? I thought you could. It wouldn't make sense if you let Murray come all the way over there and then you couldn't get through it. Yeah, but... Uh, okay, I think you can jump on something. There has to be. Fuck up, Ivy. No, you can. No, you can. Bam. It was just hard to see. Okay, there is another box alarm over here. Yeah, okay. You could have uppercutted that guy with a triangle and then circled to pick him up. Bam. That truck is going to be important later. Yes. Which is really weird that Slot they left point. it here. It's so little. Like, it's so Look small. Little Murray is. drives it, which is fucking weird. But, like, the fact that they just left that in the level is really strange. It's kind of... Oh! Oh, yeah. I think that's one of the ones that I have trouble remembering. I don't remember any of them. I just kind of... I remember far. most of them in most places. Oh, dear. I have played this game a lot. This is like one of those games where like in the summertime when I have like a long break and like or a day where I have nothing to do. It's glorious. Just break it out? Yeah. I'd be like, I'm gonna beat this game in like several hours. And it's gonna be It's totally awesome. possible. Yeah, it is, because Because like even though it's technically the longest slide game, mm -hmm. because it has eight episodes as opposed to the first game is five, and the third game is six, mm. and the fourth game is five because it's bad. Um, it's still fairly short because if you know what you're doing, it really just doesn't take much time. Yeah, exactly. Bam. All right. Ooh, I get to do the operation. Aww. I call next operation. Okay, if it works out where I get to do the next one, I'll quest. let you keep playing. Yay! And then we'll just First, then you do two yeah. that one. Break into the old water tower. Operation Thunderbeak. See, there, like this. This is something that they didn't leave in, and it sure gave absolutely, like, Bentley didn't explain Only shit, so there was absolutely no context to your missions, and it just made everything you did feel not important. Yeah, like this, everything is connected. There's a reason. Everything, like, everything. Bentley's explaining everything, and you're like, okay, cool, I'm good with that. Let's yeah. do this shit. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, every action you take is towards the final operation. There's a plan. And so it's exciting. You're like, ooh, how's this gonna fit into what we're actually doing? And, like, with these in time, it doesn't feel like there's a plan. No. 
Bentley just starts explaining shit when you start a mission and you're like, what? Why, why Would've been nice to know why I'm here first! Did I pick Bob? Did anyone pick a different thing? A bronze ring. Ooh. I just hit the circle button to get out of there and then remembered it was triangle. Seventeen dollars? You mean seventeen coins. Oh, excuse me. Okay, where the- Calities. Oh no, wait! It's bad. It was in Sly 3 that every single operation started with Sly. In this one, it's different people. This, did it actually always start with Sly? I think in this one, the, the only one you start with Sly is the last one. In Sly 3, it's uh, every mm -hmm. single operation is, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you start every single one with Sly. That's so Come on, chum. Yeah, it is. Let's get to that water tower. Okay, this is also a really strange mission because it introduces a mechanic that doesn't come back until seven hours later. <laughs> it's when not does it actually happen again? Um, in the seventh episode. It's not a difficult mechanic to understand, but they just, they don't bring it back. Wow. You fucked that guy up. Jesus Christ, Murray! Does, I don't think, Bentley can't hit, there. can he? Oh, he can. Oh, he can. Hold on, I'll, I'll show you. Okay, yeah, I was just like... Oh. It just sucks. Just it takes like ten hits to kill people. Here's the weird thing. This is a mechanic that they don't bring back until the this seventh episode. Right, with Jean Bisson. Yeah, the second time you right. do the thing with him. Right. Oh my god. And they did like you do this once, and in it doesn't this come. Yeah, and it doesn't come back until seven hours later. And then you have to do it a whole bunch of times in the end. You end. like you do it. Okay, come on. <laughs> this one is surprisingly difficult for some reason. It's because there's barely a ledge there. Yeah. So you have to like do it weirdly. Yeah. It almost feels like oh, you have to do it again too. Why didn't I just? At least you can go inside. I don't have the trigger bomb because I didn't buy it. So because it's not that great. Oh my god. Now there's your throwing. Nope. I never <laughs> said yeah, I was good at throwing. In the when, Fuck, just when, keep talking. When you do this um this move again, then you have to use a you whole have to bunch do it of times. Three times in a row because yeah. you're throwing Bentley onto three different ships. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm playing video games. Holy fuck, Murray! <laughs> I knew you like, oh yeah, you're good at video games. Yeah, so are I, you. Okay, that... This puzzle I've never no. figured out. You just hit all of them once. Is that actually it? Yes. It's not a no puzzle. Way. No it's way. It's not a puzzle. No way. I thought it was a puzzle. Okay, okay. before we continue, when you saw Bentley enter that, the water tower, Yes. And the screen did a weird thing. What was supposed to happen is you're supposed to see him run in, and the screen was supposed to flip and show him running in here. They fucked that up in this, which you'll see because it just looked weird. Um, you literally just hit them all at once. Actually? Yes. Oh my god, I thought this was a puzzle. Nope. Do you know how long I used to spend Very. this thing? I was convinced there was some sort of- No! You literally turn each one once. I figured that out on my first try and couldn't actually believe it. Oh my god. I was like, what the fuck? I thought it was a puzzle! No! But they, I will admit, Sucker Punch totally fucked up and let you turn the valves again. Yeah! Right? That is a fucking bad design right? choice. Well, it makes sense if you think of the, like... No, it doesn't. No, but if you actually think of the... Valves it doesn't make working. sense. It would make sense that you could No, but it doesn't make sense to let the player keep turning valves. That's true. If it doesn't, like, if they you need to turn That's every why, single one once. That's turning the valves was like, oh, well, It like, lets you keep turning is, what's them. What's gonna happen? Which is a fucking bad design choice. Um, Where did so, the guards go? What? Weren't there multiple guards behind him? There should be, but, again, Sans are fucked up. Either their pathing fucked up, or they just didn't spawn. Also, you could just see this guy spawn in the doorway when he's supposed to walk out of it. <laughs> Fuck you, Sansaru. And that's it. Uh, yeah, I just have to go over to the... Tr no, I have to meet them in front of the thing, oh, and then... Oh, they're in front of the thing with the truck. If we listened to the slideshow, we would know that. But we've played How this game 13 been? times, so it doesn't matter. And then you actually see them run up it's to you. All yeah. Lovely. And then they throw the key off, and then the Sly runs away. I think he despawns after a certain point, but it doesn't really matter. Followed him. Is that what doing I think he just despawns or just stands there and waits for you to leave. 
Fucking Murray. What are you doing? He's just he's doing him. He's being a shit. Standing in bombs. I'll take the wheel. I know how to drive a stick. Yeah, I don't think you're fit that becomes that. important later. This was even in the original game, that was just kind of a bad transition. How they went back in time for yeah, two seconds? Yeah, like, it, it, they could have done that way better. Yeah. Well, what do you think they should have done? That's a good question. But it feels to me like they just wanted to get this episode done. Yeah. And they just did that. I feel like they could have just done what they did with the water tower and do, like, a wipe or something. Yeah, that's true. And it wouldn't have been nearly as lame. Yeah, it was kind of weird that they did. Like, that... Like, it makes sense. You know what's happening, but it's still just kind of, eh. It kind of gives it continuity, though, too, right? Because it happens yeah. in, in throughout the game, where, like, something happens, and then you have to go back to the no. characters that were left. Does, doesn't no. it? It never does a time jump. Ever again. I thought there was a time jump for no. some reason. But it never does a time jump, and it makes sense to not make it, like, some sort of effect and just cut to someone mm. if the time is just continuing and it's not going back. Mm. This is something that kind of annoyed me. There I is no way to tell. This. And there's a mission where you have to do this under time pressure, which is just total bullshit. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, um, and it was, I... That's that probably was one of the, the hardest only, missions. That's literally the only bad mission. Yeah. No, that one was... Because everything else was really easy. Like, in that... It was easy to understand. Yeah, but, but all the other... But that was just bad. Okay, good job, Sanzaru. Didn't you turn around? No, they just... He didn't hop onto the fucking rope. And he just kept, like... He kept doing the animation to hop onto it, but then he felt like was acting like he wasn't gonna land on it. And then eventually he just rocketed forward and gained momentum for no reason. Because the physics engine shit itself. Oh my god. You know what's really nice? What? You can hit the truck and nothing happens. This is true, because I mean you Because can they hit the truck and it loses health. Sly hits the truck, it's nothing. fine. Which is it doesn't make sense, but it's still good. Yeah, because especially if you're nearby and you're beating enemies, then it's a pain yeah. because you're just like, oh. But it's so weird because Murray was taking damage from Bentley's bombs. Yeah. But you don't damage the truck, which I feel like that was just a thing they didn't test. Yeah. Like in QA, not. that just didn't come up because it, they probably weren't expecting Murray to get hit by the bombs. That would be interesting, too, to see, like, if you... You probably would just restart that section no, if you if, died. If you go in, like... But to hear what developers or, like, designers think when the game is said and done. Yeah. Like, to see, like, if they're like, oh, we kind of, like, shit the bed on that one. Yeah. Well, you, you kind of saw that in that one video I uploaded just for you. Yeah. Yeah. That was a neat thing. Just yeah. to see, like, the evolution of Sly where he used to have a purse. Yeah. And he would pick up, like, wads of bills instead of coins. That's just, Yeah. And it just wouldn't have felt as good because the coin sound effect is wait okay, that jump sly is not something you can do. Oh my god. He talks way weirder in this than he does in any other game. So, but it's still you fucking should let weird. birds and bees be free, bro. You have no idea what you're playing with. It'll bring more than your house down. <laughs> bro. I see that you are a tough cowboy. What is the evil? Jen, I can hear him talking. That's okay, I wanna I wanna become sore of finer things. What are you talking about sync with us? I'm sure that two cats in a bag like us can work something out. Yeah. Because the subtitles aren't we usually smooth, synced up. Yeah? Look, see the money? You like the money? You can take all you want. I can you and the rest of the clogging. That was another thing they were really good at. The sound editing in this game? Really good. Hand over the tail feathers and we can because it sounds like a regular conversation. There's a lot of games where voice lines just won't kick in when they would in a real conversation when people are cutting other people off. It never sounds good in a game. Yeah. Here, they did it pretty well. Yeah. There are, like, side pauses, but there's something you just can't. Like, that one that they just did, it was still pretty well done. Mm. But something like Final Fantasy X, the people cutting other people off in that just sounds awkward. What do you mean? Well, I was just <laughs> saying... Yeah, pretty much. So here's my strategy. And then after three, oh fuck you, Sly. It's stuck on something. Yeah. You just gotta stand behind pillars. One thing I wonder is like, what does he even have? What it's a ring. 
Oh, that's what it is? Don't yeah. Mean? I never knew what it was. I thought it was like some magic. Whatever. No, he's not magic. Oh, fuck. Ring that shoots bursts of energy? Yeah, because why not? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, the fights are, the fights are, the fights, the fights are, are good. Really yeah, they're good. They're just a little bit repetitive, Shit. but I mean, it's still And good. I'm bad at them, apparently. Also, the camera's being a bit of a bitch right now. Greasy sweet. Greasy sweet. Oh, Dimitri, you're disgusting. <laughs> if anyone who describes their clothes as greasy, I don't want to touch them. No, exactly. You don't want any interaction with them whatsoever. Like, what? That, that's Stop gross. Stop that. Wash that. Okay, here's the cool thing. Is those blasts take a couple of hits to actually break these? So they're a decent cover. Just not as good as pillars. Yeah, which, which don't break. Yep. So they're optimum for defense. Optimal. Optimal. I don't think optimum is a word. No, optimum is definitely a word. Probably not. But I don't know what context you use it in. I don't think it's a word. It sounds like an element on the periodic table. Optimum. But if you combine optimum with the neon, you get... Soft. Fuck you. <laughs> The newest what? element. I keep forgetting that, like, a lot of characters in this game specifically have, like, moves that make you not want to go near them. Because they'll get up and do a little thing to damage you. It doesn't do that much damage, but it's still, like, it's to force you to not just beat on enemies constantly. Yeah, oh shit. Hey Dimitri. Yeah. Yeah. He does that, and that's the only time he ever does it in a cutscene, and the game doesn't tell you how. Is that so the it's only time he ever does it? Yep. And it's kinda neat. Also, good job. The fucking Dimitri just fell through the floor there a little bit. <laughs> good job, Sanzaru! It's just so weird. Here's what's really neat. Okay, first of all, his tongue is green, which it isn't in Sly 3. Um, but that's not what I was going to talk about. He calls Sly a cracker box, mm -hmm. and then the third game, when you see him for the first time, he's like, like, um, My gang and I is Sly finds him and he's like, Dimitri, I see you're still in prison, and then Dimitri responds with, and you are still a cracker box. <laughs> Continuity. Well, not really continuity, but just a callback. That's true. What fucking kind of cop uses a whip? Just missed me. She took it out on the tree. But we did it. You got Dimitri put in jail. Yeah, fuck you. And we're gonna rescue him next time. Yep. And then we're gonna use him. For a week in Monaco, I figured the team had earned themselves a well-deserved break. It's supposed to cut to a shot of Bentley throwing down a card on the table, and he, Sly says, Bentley wanted to try out his new card counting formula. Yeah, I remember that! But they cut it out of this because if you teach kids that gambling is a thing, they're all gonna become card sharks. Just like if you teach kids sex a thing, they're all become, gonna become sex fiends and rapists. Oh my god. No, but yeah, doesn't at the end of every episode, there's like, oh, we took they a break. They go somewhere. We took a break. And it's something That's funny. the only one they cut out, though. Of because game. gambling. Again. Fuck mug you, shot. said Zaru. No, mugshot. Yeah, they kept that entire section in the game. You have to. There's no way you can't. It wouldn't work. San Zaru that entire is really stupid. section. I don't know if you knew. It's they're they're not. It's they're bad. In a casino. They're bad at making video games. There are slot machines everywhere. The entire Excuse world me. is a casino. Yep. Yeah. It's a giant casino, It's and they go to a city, and they're like, this city is based around gambling. It's 
Sandy Island. It's basically Las Vegas in Utah is what they set it up as. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Alright. Oh, but yeah, so we made it through episode one. We did. Successfully. That was like that was an fun. hour and a half. Oh my god. Which, you know. Eh? You want to call it a day for now? I think so. Okay. Bye, everyone.